the new Labor 2 generator is a numerical controlled machine. All electrical, pneumatic and mechanical actions are controlled by an industrial PC and a PLC. The surface generating principle is based on the simultaneous motion of three or four interpolated axes. The generating heat with the upper chuck, Z axis, the horizontal slide, X axis, on which is mounted the vertical slide, Y axis. Lastly, a fourth motorized axis, the lens chuck, B axis, is mounted on the Y axis, and the B axis rotation can also be controlled from the PC. The electric motors used to govern the axis during the interpolation are all last generation. Closed loop controlled step type, meaning that the PLC constantly controls that the motors move exactly the required distance and that no positioning error is possible. This type of control provides the machine with axis positioning precision correct to 1000 of a millimeter on linear axis and to 2.6 seconds of a degree on the angular position of the generating lead. Labor 2 generator structure is manufactured completely in electrical welded thick steel panels and piping to make the machine particularly sturdy and resistant to disturbance from the work environment on the other machines. Two panels are mounted on the rear part of the structure, the electrical and pneumatic panels. Components are mounted inside these panels, leaving sufficient space for easy inspection and maintenance space. The electrical panel also contains the computer and modem for direct link-up between the COMES plant and the generator via Internet. In this case of necessity, this makes it possible for COMES technicians to take over complete control of the generator and to perform any kind of operation, including lens generation directly from the COMES offices. The new Labor 2 generator also includes large two user-friendly doors on the side of the machine, aimed at providing easy access to the internal machine components or electrical and pneumatic connections. The two panels are added to the generator structure, and this can be easily rotated for access to the generating and stoke mechanics in order to perform any type of maintenance with easy. The Labor 2 generator structure is composed of two parts, the first the external structure in a thick steel piping set directly on the ground and the second internal part also built of thick steel panels and piping that is mounted on the first structure on six rubber anti-vibration dampers designed to insulate the mechanical organs from the external vibration caused by other machinery. An easily removable large panel has been mounted on the front of the machine for access to the X, Y and B axis mechanical organs. After the panel is removed, it's possible to perform any type of visual control, check or maintenance work on the mechanical axis part. The generator control panel is built using a practical suspension system hanged to the upper part of the generator to permit the operator to place the control panel in the most convenient position during work operations so that he is always able to maintain perfect control over the monitor and the machine inspection door. To permit personnel to perform all maintenance operation on the machine with perfect easy, two large, easily removable side doors are also included so that, after removal, direct access is possible to internal organs such as the diameter reduction station, for example.
the new Labor 2 machine generating heat has been manufactured using a zero-place cycloid reduction gear to grant it absolute lack of the mechanical play during machine action. The connection between the motor and the reduction gear is performed on all axes through a safety joint that releases the motor from the reduction gear in the case of mechanical collision to protect the mechanics from couple overload. A special sensor transmits a full warning signal to the computer placing the machine in emergency mode. The monitor is equipped with touchscreen commands and the machine management software provides a large number of easily recognizable symbols to permit the operator to work easily and intuitively inside the pages without the need for reading complex written instructions. All control buttons and data entry keyboard are hermetically sealed to IP67 standards. It is also possible to connect a barcode reader to the control panel to automatically and rapidly load all data necessary for the lens processing. The generator management software is previously programmed to receive data from special prescription laboratory management software through our RS232 serial port with total production and remaining stock management. This way the operator does not need to enter any data, but simply needs to read the barcode and insert the lens to be processed, thus preventing all risk of error due to an incorrect data entry. The management software for is an initial page that provides access to the various program sections through icons. The first section is the database in turn divided into three parts, lens holder management, tool management and macro management. The second section governs machine action and is also divided into three parts, work, manual commands and machine zero routine. The third section deals with utility, divided into four parts, machine setting adjustment, manual online, language change and the fourth provides information on the commerce company. The fifth and last section is used to switch off the machine on operation completion. In the lower part of the page are two text windows that inform the operator with a simple message whether the machine is working correctly or whether any problem have occurred. All database and relative necessary data can be entered in the lens holder database page. In this way, if a specific support is needed for processing a certain lens, the software will automatically load the specific data. It's also possible for the operator to enter lens support blocks that are different from the standard models and it's possible to order special holders made to specific requirements from the commerce company. All the tools and relative dimensional data can be entitled in the tool database. In this case as well, when the software recalls the number of a specific tool, all relative data will be loaded automatically. In the macro database page it is possible to create personalized routines according to the type of materials to be machined or the types of the lens to be produced, for example concave, convex, flat, etc. All the data necessary for the generator such as travel, speed, grinding, depth, finish depth, etc. are stored in this routine. This data is also automatically loaded when a specific macro is recalled. It is possible to move all axes or machine devices manually from the manual command page to perform maintenance or test functions. The X, Y or Z axis 
can be moved for example and in the same way it's possible to open or close the grinder protection or set the upper chuck and the lower chuck in rotation It is also possible to test the correct function of the lens tracer point device as well as the beveling and diameter reduction station function. The service page can be used to open and close doors without using the manual switch or to perform manual axis lubrication to test correct lubrication pump function. The pump is located on the right hand side of the generator. The Labor 2 management software provides for an automatic lubricating cycle at regular intervals that can be programmed with values set between 0 and a maximum of 200 machine working hours. This ensures regular lubrication of all generator mechanical sliding parts without having to depend on personnel. The lubricating pump is also equipped with a level sensor that transmits a warning signal on the control panel when the lubricant inside the container is finished. It is possible to test all inputs, sensor and buttons, and outputs, motor, pumps, valves, etc. in the input-output page. As you can see in the film, correct tracer point function can be controlled by activating it manually. When the machine is started up at the beginning of the work, shift machine must be preset or machine zero set. This operation is not performed again until the machine has been switched off and restarted and is necessary for the machine computer to test the function of all electrical, electronic and mechanical parts after switch off. The control panel is equipped with a set of manual push button that the operator can use rapidly for operations generally performed more frequently, such as opening and closure of the grippers, cycle starts and stop, without having to activate these operations through the touch screen. The new Comes Labo 2 generator uses a diamond cutting wheel for glass lenses and a PCD cutter to mill organic materials. This type of processing can create lens surface very rapidly, meaning that this machine can also be used for max production. This type of tool normally produces what technicians call generation elliptical error that on former machine models was impossible to eliminate because of the difficulty in high precision positioning. The Labor 2 generator has resolved this problem completely thanks to the extremely high precision mechanics and generating software, especially developed in order to eliminate this aspect. Parameters can be entered in the processing page to generate lens, both manually and automatically. In other words, the operator can manually enter the data necessary for generating a lens, or he can use the barcode to simultaneously load all data necessary for every single lens from a server computer that can possibly manage all company production. The Labor 2 generator can produce lenses in organic material, sapphire and mineral glass. By entering the appropriate parameters, the operator can select spherical, toric and cylindrical lenses in both convex and concave form, and flat surfaces are also possible. The external diameter of organic material lenses can be reduced to produce an elliptic or circular form 
and the bevening process on less circumferences can be used for all materials including glass. The type of lens holder block can also be selected from the work page, manually or automatically. This may be vacuum type for glass lenses or in alloy for organic lenses. During manual parameter entry, the graphics display the show the operator very clearly. The influence of the type of parameter that has been entered, correcting it where necessary and calculating in real time all parameters such as radius, sagitta and thickness. The cycle programming page summarizes all the main work macro parameters so that all necessary modification can be entered for experimental work with varying grinding depth or recovery of elliptical error etc. Once the experiments have been performed on parameters and the best results has been obtained, the operator can store the parameter in a new macro.